and the Inquisitor has a really, you know, unique, uh, interesting ability. Uh, not quite the same as first edition, though. So no, yeah, it got changed up for sure. If you you got a f field report from Chris Allen. Yes, Josh Benjamin would like everyone to know that the N1 is his favorite ship in all of Star Wars, and he thinks it's beautiful, and he loves the Phantom Menace. I don't think he said that. That's fine. Word for word, direct quote. Well, you know what? I will ag agree that the N1 is a beautiful ship. I would not agree on that. I think what? the N1 is disgusting. I thought we were best friends. Wow, <laughs> look at me. I can use CGI. Look at me. I, 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 can, I can pull the... I can, look how I can extrude these polygons. They literally took like a circle and they pulled it out in like a 3D modeling program. We're like, wow, look at this. No. And then they got the chrome and they're like, wow, look at this chrome we can put on it. Look at this, <laughs> look at this technology. Oh, it's man. ugly. It's ugly. And I will hear no different. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want you to say that in like a like a pompous British accent. And I will hear no different. No different. No good different sir. at all. So Matt obviously trying to get a good vector here on Anakin. But the one downside of these Jendon Ordnance squads are that you do have – doesn't mean you can't change. Right. At least early on you're calling your shot. Yes. So Anakin needs to be a little cagey here. Um, and another – Matt, uh, one somebody else out of the Archers Alliance was telling me that Matt has practiced against this squad. That's okay. okay he has That's good intel. Squad. Good intel. <laughs> it didn't go well. Oh, <laughs> okay, great. So, but here, here is what the um, he does have sense though. He does have sense. He does have the tools. It comes down to in this matchup. It comes down to how spooked will Josh be of the concussion missiles? Right. Because if he can, if Matt can get Josh to keep uh put some of his aces in weird spots that's where matt has an opportunity to divide and conquer you, right. you blow up one ship um I mean, even with just with two dice if anakin let's say is just running scared and matt turns his all his ships on another ship you delete it those target locks did their job in keeping someone away and out of the fight Right, and I just want to talk about concussion missiles as an ordinance for a second here. So it has three charges, right? Yep. Uh, it says, attack, lock, spend one charge. After this attack hits, each ship at range 0 to 1 of the defender exposes one of its damage cards. Range 2 to 3. Cool, neat, but you're not taking concussion missiles for that effect. No. Nope. What you're taking the missiles for on these Inquisitors is that three die attack. So they have three dice at any range, which is great, mm -hmm. and... You're removing a range bonus, a range three bonus from the defender when they're when they're being used. They're six points, which is a little pricey, right? But if they start to get much lower, then you start putting them on the tie SFs, and it gets a little spooky, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Um, but here is you know a really good example of this. He has four, essentially three die ships on yep. the table, and let's not forget the Inquisitor. Uh, ability while you defend at attack range one, you spend one force to prevent the range one bonus. While you perform an attack against a defender at range two to three, you may spend one charge to apply the range one bonus. So the Inquisitor can, even though he has concussion missiles, pick and choose when he wants to have that kind of effect, right? Yeah, exactly. And that's going to be dependent on, uh, especially in this, versus other force users, how, how much resources they have. Do they have evade tokens? Do they have right. force up? Um, is it good? Because the Inquisitor does only have two force available. So as soon as you spend you got the that first sense, one, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you've done sense plus his ability, you now are just a regular Tie Advanced prototype. You're nothing special. Right. Exactly. So I'll be interested to see if Josh kind of gives. Um, sorry, you're good. If Josh sorts of sort of gives Matt the. <laughs> The wraparound, you yeah. say, <laughs> like if he brings, <laughs> if he baits with Anakin here, yeah, you know, and just tries to get these ships turning in this direction, and then he does like a one heart here, and he tries to flank with Obi Wan and Rick, and try to chip at him from the side because, but you got to be careful with Anakin, right? Yep. He, if he's starting to get in this corner here, in this this side, that he doesn't have space to to be mobile. That's so right. You, I think maybe you could very well see a one harder than Anakin just, here and then duck back out this you way. You took my answer, Farmer. I'm sorry, Dion. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to 
I had the, the rebuttal ready. Uh, oh, man. Anakin's the optimal target here, too, because he only has two. He's going to only have two greens yeah. always against those concussion missiles. I mean, unless it's obstructed. But for the most part, um, you can you can really do some damage. You got fire control system in there. Be double modded. That's right. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. We, whoa. we just, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Andrew Knuckles. Curl Paw Creatives. Did I mention that this round is brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives? Use coupon code GenCon19 for 15% off. No, no, no. I think he was giving these to me. Oh, is that? Dion, because <laughs> I really want them for my Altar collection oh, that I can't complete because of weight. <laughs> you can win them on stream just like everyone else. That's right. You can I know, right? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we just got a full set. Uh, uh, not a full uh, set. Because uh, I, I stole the torrent. You stole the Oh, of course. You, ne you needed it. I needed it. Okay. We, we got a set, Mostly not a full, full set, a set. There it is. <laughs> we got six of the um, Gen Con exclusive uh, uh, alt art cards. They're, yeah. they're super cool, super beautiful, and all going very fast. Yeah. All, they're all very fast. We'll show them off later. Uh, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. We'll give some away after this round, the rest after the final. We got, man, if you're not sticking around for the final giveaways, you, you're missing out. We got a lot of stuff here. So many things. Oh, th thank you, Andrew. Appreciate it, man. You know, should should we take a second and take a peek at the at the ship we're giving away? I think so. All right, re really, really, really fast. Really, really fast. Okay. So the ship, look at that right ship. there. We hit the goal. Hit that we hit goal. the goal. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna give shout outs to everybody who made that happen. Mm -hmm. But you see right there, the N1 Starfighter. Look at these. Look at these N1 Starfighters on my shirt. That's right. Yep. Right there. Woo, they're Boom. fast. Fast. They're right. going fast. Back, Back to, to the, the table. Game. Wow, I like the handshake icon yeah. there. That's that's because we're friends. We are. <laughs> Already though, Matt's doing a really good job of, you know, coming in here, trying to fan out, and let's not forget the old Jenden sw hot swap, right? That's that's right. He could right. look like he's gonna go for Anakin, and then you know, at the last second, go nope, going after Rick instead. Yep. And no regen on these ships. That's that's really important here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, without the region, it, this it all comes down to the positioning for Josh. Like he has no extra chances, for right. lack of a better better way to say that. Uh, once once the shields are gone, there's no uh, runaway there's in no region. No coming back. No coming back at all. Dion, what do you think of the R two A six choice on Anakin? Honestly, I think it's going to be the next hot choice in the meta. Uh, well, explain why. Okay. Wh so what? What do you? So flexi dial flexibility has been something that players have always wanted to use in order to take advantage of it, especially on the high initiative ships. Right. So let's go ahead and read it here. It says, after you reveal your dial, you may set your dial to a maneuver of the same bearing of a speed one higher or lower. Right. So that means that on the fly, especially if you're an Anakin Skywalker at initiative sure, six moving sure. last, you can go, oh, my two bank would have bumped there. Let's just change that to a one bank. And uh, mm -hmm. and you just, you adjust on the fly. If you're going straight, you dial in a, a four. All of a sudden, you're doing either three, four, or five. It just gives you more flexibility and options. Looking like ah, uh, I see no dice. All right, there it is. Lock for the same results. Spinning the force there to attack the yellow Inquisitor. He's got the evade, no damage. Let's see if the Inquisitor decides to fire a concussion back. We got Rick first, range three obstructed on yellow. Yep. So three on three, no bonus. He did, the green did a speed two. Probably be firing over there to get the extra die. Though he probably wants yellow because well, yellow's got that in evade a, too, though. Truth. Green has the evade. Here we go. Two hits. Got that it, baby. That evade. evade token doing his job there. Let's see if Obi has a shot. Might be out. Range three, maybe on the Grand Inquisitor. He gets to try. I think it's a. Yep, there it All is. All right, it's in. Two dice. Yep. Pew pew. Two. Hey, you can use the force or focus. 
Uh, Spenaforce, he'll get that back, yeah. so he's fine. He's, yeah, spend both. He does have a force. Yeah. Spend an evade and a force. Yeah. That's a Grand Inquisitor right there, spending his force in order to avoid that damage. Uh, should Rick have a focus? Uh, Did he spend a focus? Oh, on, I don't on remember. On his attack? He's going range three at Obi-Wan right okay. now. It doesn't matter. Trying to sign concussion missiles for green if he's got yeah. the range. No range on Anakin. One hit. We'll see if it matters. Nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as much as possible, I like to not disturb the players if sure. we can. And that's one of those where it's like, uh, it didn't seem like that was the optimal shot anyway. Let's we'll see if we can get some concussion action here. I think that's that into uh, yep. Anakin. Remember, he's got... Spend the lock on... Yeah. No, he's not, not spending. He, remember, he, he has the a force. He's got force. I spend and the force, yeah. So one's going through on Anakin, no matter, no matter what. what. Two, yep. A blank Ooh. out. Three shields three on Anakin. Three shields. He got right half off. points on wow. Anakin one, right off the one bat. One concussion missile, three shields. Wow. 44 points scored by Matt Carey. That. Uh, wow. Strong opening. That There's a thing. Now Anakin spooked. Yeah. He has to be, right? He's not that heroic. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, that is crazy. Man, I think I think we need we need some uh, some Dion faces. Right right there. That that's that. Oof. That moment. <laughs> Oof. Anakin's got to be careful now because let's say one more damage squeaks through on him, right? Yeah. These concussion missiles start flipping cards, right? That's right. That's right. And as we know, most of the the crit cards are extremely punishing. Uh, Anakin doesn't want anything to do with that. Sure. Imagine if he got something like a damage engine. That would any number of things <laughs> can be bad. <laughs> Fuel leak. Direct. For an extra card to kill you? Oh, yeah. That, that, that's probably really <laughs> that's bad. That's probably really bad, right? <laughs> Looks like people think Matt has the advantage here. You know what? i got to give Matt props for this squad, though. This is some um, out-of-the-box thinking. Absolutely. Again, taking some ships no one ever uses with some upgrades no one, no one really is using. He looked in his cases, and he's found them deep. Sad. Came to him in a dream. An <laughs> ethereal <laughs> Dion came, wrapped in blankets, <laughs> sang to him, Fly Inquisitors, Matt. I will see you on the top tables. Top tables. I am the ghost of X-Wing Future. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, the reroll was with fire control system, not with target lock on that attack. Right. On the other table, we have Brad. Oh, where's my? I had the Chris Allen moving my things. Classic Chris. We have Brad, uh, Brad Streisick and Carson Ray fighting it out over there. So Carson's flying a list very similar, similar to what yeah. Joss has, uh, but with regen. Yeah, and two Jedi Rick's pretty good, eh? Oh, yeah. And then Brad is flying double shuttles. Upsilon shuttles with and Kylo. Kylo. So our top four has Empire, Two Republic, and a First Order. The <coughs> one similarity between all these lists, every list has a Force user. Go figure. 
Force is pretty good, huh? It seems so. I did say on a recent podcast that I think if you're not bringing Force, like, you might be making a mistake. Or something like Palp also includes yeah. Force. If you don't have something with Force in your list at this list building stage in the current meta, you might be making a mistake. Now, obviously, we just saw Scum list that performed very well with right, Force, obviously. right? That there are caveats to that. But the Force is so powerful, right? Do you think, like, so Josh brought this huge bid, right? Yeah. Um, he wants to move last. He wants to move last, but it doesn't, like, in this. And it's not just the moving last, Dion. It's just holding that 19 points. That's in reserve. They can't be taken away from him. That's almost a full ship. Yep. But I wonder if not having the regen is going to hurt him in this matchup. It could. That's, that's what I'm worried about. It very well could. <clears throat> but he's got to start getting some damage through. All right, banking in here, taking the evade. Just keeping them defensive. Sure. Well, they've got that force, so yeah. people forget that these Inquisitors can evade every round and they have that, uh, that one force for, for defense. Lands that maneuver. My goodness. Look at that. Threaten wow. the Neater, baby. He's just in the zone. Matt so, Carey, Gold Squadron, uh, Gold Squadron Classic Champion. So it's, it's tough to kill these things. Three agility backed up by a focus evade or force evade, right? Actually, I want to here to talk for a minute. I'm gonna yeah. talk, I'm gonna look at the durability of these guys real fast. The official, the the numbers. Yeah, the gate of storms here. Alrighty, so it looks like the lambda shuttle is gonna go ahead and bump into the grand inquisitor. So no actions there, and the grand inquisitor just banks in. Again, he has the ability to ignore range restrictions as needed, and just getting that arc to bear ready to fire at Anakin Skywalker. Also, green is in a good place for the escape route for Anakin. Uh, honestly, all the straight maneuvers are covered. I'm not sure where Anakin can go. Uh, you see that the arc extends all the way to here, to here. Uh, so you got two, three, four, five. Maybe a boost barrel gets it. Actually, honestly, with the with the the tilt, I don't even think it's that far. Um, Josh, right now, I. Honestly, the positioning game goes to Matt Carey right now, doing a great job of just, I mean, if you look at where Rick is going right now, um, Josh is taking away a shot from uh, from where he would have had some offensive potential there. So this is a rough estimate, okay? okay. This is a rough estimate because I'm using Gaia Storm's calculator with two hull, two shields, one max force, three defense dice, and he doesn't have an evade option, but I'm just saying it has a reinforced token yeah. because, you know, the evade, it's not quite, the comp isn't quite the same, but it's close. Right. It takes five expected shots, three die, three attack focus shots, expected five if you are fo basically focus evade on these guys to kill one of them. That seems like a good ship. Five shots. If he's willing to always spend his, right, his, force, his defensively. force and, you know, you know defensively. Which, I mean, you want to keep your ship around, so the answer is yes. So let's talk about he's got three ships, right? Some of them aren't always shooting three dice, right? So to kill one of them, if they're just willing to be defensive, it takes five shots. So, I mean, that's on average, right? There's, yeah. I mean, the but the variance curve here is, you know... It's five shots around 70% of the time. <laughs> That's a lot. Now, Josh did a five forward. Here's the barrel roll first and the boost, so it was going to be long enough to get out. Right. But, again, Anakin uh, on an exit trajectory will have a shot on the Lambda on the way out. I think Matt's fine with that. All right, Anakin range one. Because the thing about these Jedi, right, is that if you spook them, yep, they gotta take time to get back around. Like they're they gotta they gotta. One second, just want to take a look at this roll. All right, four hits coming in. V one, he got the he evade. Got it. Three shields. That you know the single evades for the shuttle is a huge deal. You could end up getting one to two extra turns yeah. around with your shuttle if you can get a couple of those. Jenin is forty six though, so he's worth a little more. Yeah. If you can kill him. But it's so. my – I anticipate that Matt should probably deal more damage this game. Yeah. 
So Grand Inquisitor using his ability to essentially make it a range one shot. And Josh is fine. Yeah. This is fine. He had focus evade. Yeah. Also he was Rick's fine. ability. Yeah. Obi Wan has CLT active, so you can get a good shot at uh, the Grand Inquisitor right now. Yeah, control uh, calibrated laser targeting adds that focus result, so and you can spend the focus or the force to go ahead and make it another hit. Yeah, spend the focus, force to keep the focus. It's a pretty good ability for Obi Wan. I spend the evade. See, it's just tough. <laughs> it's just hard to get these these hits in on. These I things. refuse to take damage. Range one obstructed on an, on uh, Rick. All right, just, just one. one, just one. I mean, he had all the, he has yeah, all the, he's got all the things, all the mods. Yeah, no issue. The yellow's just gonna take a little pot shot at uh, Obi Wan here. He gets he gets to try right. Two dice. He has one force available. Hey, hit crit. Still got to roll the results. He's totally fine. fine. No question. Whole lot of nothing other than some Jenden action. That's right. And Jenden, so he didn't get to strip the focus there. This most likely doesn't do any damage. Double crit. Range three again. No and problem. Safe. No issue at all. So I want to take a second and talk about the upcoming events we have here at Gold Squadron Podcast Streaming. If you uh, going type, international, yeah, going international. If you type exclamation point events in the chat, a link will pop up, and you can see the calendar. We have a Google link that you can add to your Google Calendar. There, we also have three printable uh, forms, or excuse me, calendars in three different forms for different uh, time zones around the world. Make it nice and easy for you. Next weekend, we're going to be live from Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires is going to have a great time there at the Buenos Aires Open. Uh, Marshall's going to be D. Yoon. D. Yoon. That's right. After that, we're going to be. Dice. <laughs> After that, we're going to be in Sacramento, California, hanging out uh, with the um, militant casual guys and some of the other peeps we have in California over there. How far is I, – I don't under, like I don't mentally have the grasp on California. Our bay, the Bay Area is around five hours north of us. All right. Well, of I'm, Los Angeles. I'm going to be thinking of you. Mm -hmm. I'll be reaching my hand towards, towards L.A. Be like, uh -huh. Ryan. <laughs> 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 After that, we're going to be flying to Poland for the XTC, the X-Wing Team Championships. Team USA. 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 Followed by the European Championship, the European version of what we're watching right now, the uh, Continentals, essentially. And there's much, much more. Go ahead and check that out. Game time. Hard one with the Yellow Inquisitor. It's fine. He'll be able to have a really nice, clean pursuit angle on Anakin. That's right. Yeah, the maneuverabilities on these guys, when we saw the Inquisitor yeah. used a bunch, the Grand Inquisitor used a bunch in first edition. I used a lot of them. Um, a lot of them. One of the best things I started to understand when playing against them is when this ship is in the middle of the board, mm -hmm. it can control the whole game. It's super hard to get away. That one hard turn plus the double reposition allows you to just... If your opponent's running on the outside and you have an Inquisitor, you will be able, unless they are completely behind you, right. you will be able to get them at an arc. It, it will happen. Yeah, and I agree. It's uh, The one hard on these things is so good. Talk about time on target, right? Um, yeah. Talk about, um, you know, fire duty cycle, another sort of um, wave it's been described in the past. Yep. But I think that... Um, you know, these things, being able to do that one hard, it just make them extremely, not just difficult to, remember I said it took maybe five shots to kill these things. Yeah. Not just them being able to consistently get things on target, but also making it really difficult for opponents to turn after turn after turn to keep shooting at them. Yeah. I think that's why Matt's MOV was pretty, like, really, really good. Yeah. I mean, like you said, it, it took, you said five Focus shots to try to take one 70% of the time. Yeah, if they're willing to spend a focus and a force, 
on and you know backed up by their three agility on every single um on every single shot that comes their way right now that's that's assuming they have you know obviously that's assuming they have a fo a force and a you know an evade for every single shot obviously i used a reinforce which is not the same thing right so it's it's probably more like between 4 and 5 because they have multi, if they have like three or four shots coming at them they don't right. have those things exactly right so but it's still tough to get that many shots on one of them in a turn. It's a significant amount of shots. Now, I, I cannot go any longer without mentioning a huge thank you for hitting the goal that we talked about earlier. Isofane looks like he uh, gifted around 20-something subs. Jesus. Uh, I was trying to go quickly. Thank you to thank you so much to Isofane. Thank you to uh, Kalarhan, Ka Callahan. Callahan 6 for that. Um... Also, the other, there's a couple other people here. Uh, Paul Rudd says, the, the Fly and the Mighty. Uh, thank you to Tycho1707 for gifting subs as well. You guys are amazing. Thank you to everybody. Do you have everybody. to lick my dice now? Huh? Do you have to lick my dice now? Do I Remember you said, are we at the, did we hit the, the you lick my dice mark? Did we? Did what, we are you, what are you talking about? You don't, you don't remember yet, yesterday? Uh, I, you don't remember that? I live in the moment. I believe the chat remembers. <laughs> The chat does remember uh, I believe, all. I believe the chat remembers all. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll find out. We'll oh, see. Oh, oh. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what they say. <laughs> all right, Anakin on the out. I want to talk about where you know where Rick is right there too. I can take a range one. The one thing that is useful for um, Rick in this situation, I think that's what, where Josh is going to have to start looking, is um, Anakin locking the shuttle. Yep. Is using because these Inquisitors want a one hard, so Rick should have a dice advantage in a lot of these situations. Yeah. All right, here we go. Grand Inquisitor firing concussion missiles. Fire control. And That's there it is. Three, three going into Rick. So three dice coming in on Rick. Two uh, blanks. He's going to take a shield He'll right take there. One shield. Yeah. Let's see if Obi has that t uh, CLT action. I almost said TLT. T <laughs> oh, uh. Uh, triggered. I think he's bending that a little bit. That's that's judge. Yeah. Judge worthy. Judge, judge got to call that. Whenever you're in a premiere event like this, never be afraid to call a judge, guys. Right. It's really important. Call those judge for everything. You don't know what you want to order at the restaurant? Call a judge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Judge, can you look at the menu, please? Do, you, uh, do, do I get the pizza? Do I get the chicken wings? Do I get the mac and cheese? I'm not sure. Please help me out. When your when your waiter refuses to let you leave and pay, <laughs> call the judge. So he does have the CLT. It'd be big for Josh if he could take out the shuttle here. Bam. Boom. That's range That's four one. four hits. Obi-Wan showing what a CLT Delta can do in the perfect situation. Shuttle will have a range one shot back, though. Yep. Takes all four. Shield and three normal hits. One, two, three. That's half three. there. The green into Rick. No evade. Whoosh. Oh, whiff. This faction's not heroic. No. Range two. Threw a rock at Obi-Wan from yellow. That's two. Hit crit. Obi got to keep that focus, though. Yeah, he's fine. He'll, he'll spend it. that, yeah. And he's going to use a force to keep it. Yep. Keep it for that shuttle shot. Yeah. That's why Obi-Wan... CLT is the... Uh, Obi-Wan's the best CLT carrier for this reason. Because he can keep the focus, which helps benefits that three dice a exactly. little bit more. Exactly. Oh! 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 All right. He has a focus. Yeah. Takes two. Well, that's still two. That's, that's, half, that's half on Obi-Wan right there from that shuttle. It's all in the wrist right now. It's all oh, in the wow. Wrist. My good. All in the wrist. Jeez. Jendon looked Obi-Wan in the eyes and didn't blink. <laughs> 
<laughs> I see you. Hello there, Obi Wan. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> General Hello, Kenobi. Kenobi. <laughs> Man, Matt, seventy points right now. So while, and again, like I said, it's gonna be tough for Josh to get all these guns continually on target to shoot at these Inquisitors. Right. He's only got three ships, and, and, he, and, and again, he doesn't want to be using red maneuvers too much because right. he needs those actions to protect he, himself. Yeah. It's a really clever squad Matt has. And I will say this. This is one of the exact reasons why I said, and pull a D here. Okay. Pull a D here. This <laughs> uh, is are why you used I, objectively in this no, sentence? No, I will not. Oh, okay. I Just think checking. that it's obviously we've got two two lists in the top four with only three ships, right? Right. However, if this is what can happen if you only have three ships in your squad in the current meta. Right. You don't have enough guns on the table if things aren't going your way to be able to climb yourself out of holes yep. with survivable ships, whether they be chunky hull-wise or whether they be survivable uh, with this sort of agility. Right. It, and um, on, t on top of that, I know some people might be looking like, oh, the dice, the dice. Yes, there is definitely was some variance in that. Yeah. But I do want to note that Matt has put himself – in a oh, spot to make the dice better. He he's controlling the center of this board. Yeah. And you know, one of the the very common things we hear X Wing players say, and it's a true thing, is like dragging through the rocks. Right. Right? So Well dragging through the rocks is what Josh would want to do to Matt. Exactly. But these Inquisitors are just so they agile. They don't care they about They don't the rocks. care. Look at me go, I'm an Inquisitor. I'm coming for these Jedi. Yes. And I, can we talk about how thematic this is? This thematic. Is? Like, obviously Anakin would be Vader, but, like, for the most part, right. I love the idea of three of these, got all these Inquisitors and Jendon hunting down some Jedi. All right. I think I got a good good thumbnail. Do you? I, I mean, if, depending on oh, how yeah. this all goes, like, that's, yeah. that's a great yeah, thumbnail a great to work on. Yeah, it's image, yeah. I love my theme. Get my theme in my X-Wing. <laughs> that's right. I mean, that's why so many people play X-Wing for that. This is exactly what we're looking at. And then, you know, Rick's going to run, but, you know, after he runs, what Green's going to do? Green's going to be like, all right, I'm going to shoot a concussion at you. Yep. Chuck, and, chunk. and it's fine if I don't do damage. I'm just going to keep you running because there are 38 minutes left. That's right. Yeah, I will say both players are playing really briskly, though. Their dials are going down fast. Yes, absolutely. They, they, they know what they want to do. And I think that's a, a common trend in this top four. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, we did have a couple people ask us to talk about pace of play. Um, this is what I would call good pace of play. This is very good pace of play, in my opinion. Because the turns that... Uh, and it's everything snappy. Everything is snappy. Not a lot and, of waiting happening. And the one s slower turn, I'll say, that they had was what I would call an apex turn. That was about two turns ago. They took a little bit longer right. than the other ones, and it just—it was because Ooh, it was a huge, huge sense one. coming into play now. Matt explaining sense to Josh. Right. So this is this is a double check whether or not you can check range for sense and not spend it if it's out. really interesting because the wording let's go ahead and pull it up here we'll wait whatever the judge says goes obviously empire but, empire 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 there it is <laughs> i've been looking looking at jedi so uh during the system phase you may choose one ship at range zero to two zero to one and look at its dial period right if, if you, you spend one force comma you may choose a ship at zero to three instead right so you can grab it So you can check zero to one if to see if it'll proc. So he's not going to spend a force to reveal zero to three, but he can check for the range one. All right, it was range one. Yeah, and so Obi's doing a five straight, getting out of town. So sense showing its strength in understanding. What can happen uh, on this right. board? He can he knows that the five straights coming. That's going to help inform his decisions here um, with any repositions. That's a gutsy five straight by Obi Wan there. That is. I'm not entirely certain that that template won't overlap that rock. I'm not certain. One with the force, and the force is with me. Hmm. <laughs> and Jenden's already done his job here. He got yep. the lock. So if mm -hmm. Jenden dies, like, whatever. Not only did he, he got half on Obi-Wan, so everything Jenden does from here on out is just gravy. Exactly. There's the hard one. He's got Obi-Wan in a kill box now. Yep. So that arc extends that way. Probably just slaps on the focus. If Obi-Wan is running, it, the, the ship is still doing its job, right? Sure. 
This is a really clever squad, man. This is one of those squads that, like, an ar the architects makes and the people follow. Yeah, but you know what, though? I No offense to anybody who, out there who wants to try it. Try it out. I think this is a squad that has a high ceiling but a really low floor. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> no doubt, right? Let's see if that doesn't. He's good. Yeah, he's good. He's good. It was hard to tell from this angle, so yeah. it's fine. He's fine. I I wasn't I didn't think he would land on it. I was just concerned that the template might overlap, but it's always tough to see. I should they're in the top four. They know what they're doing. Yep. <laughs> so we're we're replying to uh to a chat message here. All right, so here's Rick. He's going three. He's gonna get that free evade from full throttle. Full throttle. <laughs> That's a really clever uh, tool he's got there too. Oh, my God. Look where Rick is, though. Wow. He's in the kill box. Well, he – so what Josh is trying to do here is to, is say, all right, you can either try and kill Obi-Wan through this rock or you take these shots at Rick, who's double-tokened with three dice, right? Truth. Well, let's – can you pull up your calculator and, and talk about, uh, like, the survivability on that? Three, uh, three dice? I can talk about – well, I can talk about – yeah, we can look at what expected damage for Rick might be with all these shots, right? So, this is fun. So, Rick will have, I think he'll have three defense dice. Yeah, he went faster than both of them. Uh, sorry, let's go to... Uh, so, we'll have three attack coming in with a force, right? Yep. So, we'll have a force on all of them. Uh, so, we'll have two range one attacks. Three dice, force. And then... And again, hard two there. I don't uh, – then he'll have a range one from the shuttle, unless the shuttle, the shuttle dies. Let's assume the shuttle's gone. Okay, let's just, so just two of those shots then, right? Yeah. So he'll have three defense dice and one focus and one evade. Let's look at what the expected damage is for those two attacks from those Inquisitors. Half. Half a damage expected. Half a damage. Don't shoot, Rick. Inquisitors. Not worth That's the trap, right? But yeah. if the shuttle's still alive, right? Because Rick fires first. That's the thing. Truth. Oh, well, actually, Inquisitor fires first, and then Rick will go. So. All right, so he's going to go ahead and just take the shot. Well, Inquisitor can add a die, so that's different. Oh, you're right. So he'll he – looks like he doesn't, though. Spends well, two he can't, no, he doesn't add a die because he just makes it range one when he's not range one, essentially. Oh, right. Sorry. My bad. Yeah. Forgot. Three hits. Helps. Oh, makes him – forces him to do two tokens here. That's yeah. big. Yeah. Which means he won't have any modifiers shooting into the shuttle. And the shuttle still has, uh, where are we at? Shuttle, shuttle still has three hull. Yeah, yeah, three hull. So let's see what he does. Yeah, this, Not a great this, is a, this is a big decision for Josh. Let's. I'm going to simulate this again if the shuttle gets to shoot. Just three yeah. dice unmodded out Absolutely. the butt. Absolutely. If like the shuttle gets to shoot Rick, leaps to one damage. All right, so he spends the evade. So he's taking Take one evade. Shield. Yep. Rick range one to the shuttle. He wants to try to take it out, and that's not gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, he won't. He won't spend that focus. He's gotta save it for defense. Oh, so it's two left. Oh, three. Oh, okay. that's three. Yeah, yeah three. He's not, not going to spend, spend it. it. And I think evade. that's 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 a yeah. safe decision. He wants to make sure that it, yeah. on the uh, incoming shots. Oh man, feels bad for Josh though, because he not only yeah, he gets to keep the focus, but the the shuttle gets to stick around even longer. So avoids that shot. It's 
two. Yep, that's out the back and safe. So the calculator said expected total hits 1.1 after all that. He took one. So yep. right on the money. Gator Storms. <laughs> Through the rock here, the two blanks, rolls for fun. Oh, only one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on the Gate of Storms X-Wing calculator. Just Google X-Wing Gate of Storms calculator. Yeah, it's and super it's amazing. Awesome. Andrew Lawrenson um, set it up with a little bit of Chris Allen input, and it's uh, it's amazing. I use it for everything. It's got phenomenal utility. So we got 30 minutes left in the round. Uh, Matt Carey getting two big punches early in the game in order to get ahead here, 70 to 23. Let's talk about win conditions for Josh. What does he need to do in order to pull ahead? Well, Anakin's also in a spooky spot, right? Because he's like, oh, no, if I try to get in the fight, I'm going to get concussion missiled. And I only have two yeah. <laughs> agility. Um, it's a tough go. <coughs> Excuse me. A tough go for Josh right now. Uh, all of his ships are burning, and he doesn't have a lot of time. Yep. And it takes a lot of time to kill these things. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I think you try. You got. I think you kill the shuttle because that's your weakest thing. What you have to do is try and kill a shuttle and half one of these uh, other other ships. 48, even that's not enough. Oh, it's so brutal. Everything's bad. And then if he gets one more on Rick, that's half on Rick. So somebody in the chat asked, can you use this calculator during a match? No. Not during, not during an event. I would say the only appropriate time it would be is if you're agreeing to practice with somebody sure. and trying to figure out a certain situation. Yeah. Like that's the perfect yeah. time to you use it. You can't use it in a tournament. Uh, I mean, no. between rounds you can look at stuff. Oh you can yeah, do whatever of course. You want, right, but not during a game. <laughs> I'm gonna dance and use the calculator yeah. in between rounds. No outside notes. Ah. But I like to play the game where you know when I'm playing casually with my friends and yeah. I'm practicing. Right, I'll try to intuitively try and I can't really do the math on the fly, but I will try in my head think. Okay, I think this expected damage is this based on my experience and stuff. Yep. Double check with the calculator. Yes. And the more you use the calculator for scenarios, those numbers will just stick in your head. Absolutely. And that's what you're essentially doing there. You're 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 simulating situations that might happen in a game or have happened where you, you always have that question, should I have done this? Were my dice actually bad? Yes. Were they under average? Were they over average? Right, because, I mean, we could have even done, like, I mean, there are biases all over the place, right? If I could oh, yeah. if I could get, like, 10 people, 10 or 20 people here, right, and made sure they didn't have, did not have access to the calculator, and I told them, how much damage do you think Rick is expected to take with three, we would three have die shots the right place. there? Yeah, all over the place, right? I think a lot of people would think he'd take more than one damage. Yeah. But the math doesn't say that. And honestly, he chose to keep that focus. He could have taken less damage. He could have taken none. All right, a little bit of news here. Carson Ray able to beat Brad Streisick and Whoa. will be in the finals. finals. Carson going strong. I'm interested. If Matt pulls this out, I'm interested to see how he might do against Carson's regening um, uh, variant of this. Because if this the, were Gar Carson the, squad, Anakin would be back to two shields and could get in the yeah, fight a little that's, bit. Yeah, that's a big deal. Did Matt miss an opportunity there to use sense on Rick? Yes, I think so. Because that's range one. That would have been free. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't care. Maybe. <laughs> he's, he's not even worried about it. I because mean, if you know if if that's not going to affect, I mean, you should always check, right? But if yeah. it's not going to affect what you're doing, oh, he did use it. We must have just missed it. Oh, Dion, you know, listen. Now I look like a fool. Fool, you're <laughs> well. Way to set me <laughs> up like that. Now, now, now I got pain on my face <laughs> or food on my face. I don't know. I think it's egg. Is. I think egg. egg. That's yeah. what it is. I got egg on my face. I still owe you eggs. Was it you? Yeah, it was me. Yeah, I'm gonna make you eggs. Yeah. You, make me <laughs> you were big. You left. You left. Oh, no, I left. You You're left. Right. I went to Disneyland. <laughs> you didn't make me anything. You No, you were in the shower when I was going to cook them. I didn't want to make them, yeah, yeah, them yeah, cold. You, you, you want to leave them cold? You could just left yeah. them on the oven with a little cover on them. I owe you eggs. You know what? After this, we're going to get dinner. It's going to be great. Okay. When You're do you right. leave? No, I can Whenever I feel like it. No, when do you leave? Like today, your flight. To like what? Oh, I'm oh. driving. I'm driving. Oh, you're driving. Easy. Yeah. Food time. Whenever I want. Beautiful. Whenever you want. Yeah. 
<laughs> right now. Bye, guys. <laughs> just kidding. We just just kidding. <laughs> Let me go grab a beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rick is trying to reset here, boosting down to the bottom of the board, trying to catch Jenden, hopefully, in the next turns. Let's see where Obi-Wan goes. <laughs> Hard one right in front of the green Inquisitor, facing him down. I Do they think, trade shots here? No, I think you barrel roll you gotta boost. you got to get out, right? I think you barrel roll boost with Obi. So it's the old soon tier thing. You can barrel roll to the right and back and then boost left. And I think you have a shot and you get out of his arc. Now, obviously, you don't get the bullseye there, right? Right. So and I think that's what Ben's damage. looking at right now. Does it fit? But barrel roll boost might not do any damage, right? Correct. So you have to weigh, like, okay, do I just take – do we trade? He has two – he does have two force available. Yeah. But I guess it's going to cost him one. He would have one force on that attack if he did that. Yeah, you could just evade here, right? Yeah. He's looking at that side. So for anybody who doesn't know what we're saying here, that's a barrel roll, roll. towards the top and, and then boost. boosting back in. You'll see as much of that. There's not as many double repositioners in the game anymore. Yeah. Like they're there, but not as much. So you don't that barrel roll boost, which was so prevalent in first edition, yeah. you don't see as much now. But And it's funny because there's like where you end up. We In first edition, a lot of soon tier flyers had the old like, do I boost then barrel roll or do barrel roll boost? And it yeah. puts you in slightly different positions. Yeah. Those skills get rusty after a while if you haven't oh, used yeah. them. So he does barrel roll forward. I think he should have barrel rolled back. All right, and that's going to leave him without a shot, I think. Yeah. Actually, barrel rolling back might have not had the shot either because obviously that could have been. Um, I don't know if green has a lock on Anakin still. I don't think so. I can't remember. It's yeah, hard it's for little, us to A little see. hard to tell. They're using little baby locks. <laughs> right, I'm coming, baby locks. I'm, I'm coming. I'm, I'm just not a regular lock. I'm a baby lock. He'll grow up one day. <laughs> All three have locks out there. Oh, yeah, they are. All, are there one, two, two three. three? Oh, they're all on him. They were just not together. Yeah. Just hiding behind Anakin. Mm -hmm. Want to remind you guys that this round is brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use coupon code GenCon19 for 15% off, guys, for your acrylic game token needs. All your acrylic game token needs. That's right. If you like templates like this and tokens like this, big or small, we use the large ones for streaming, but there's regular size if you prefer those. Mm -hmm. uh, those are available. And also in the United States, I'm not sure if this is a limited time or not, but right now he has... Uh, Free shipping in the U.S. Sure. for orders over $35. That's automatic. And it is combinable with the 15% off. Anakin's in a rough spot here. Yep. If those guys have range. Let me count. I'm trying to count ship bases. Mm, One. Just a bit two, outside, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, half. <laughs> Jenden going first. Yep. Seeing if he has a little pot shot back there. Right, yep. Range three. Range three. Did just nudge that ship. I wonder if they noticed that. One. One. Safe. Easy peasy. All right, green is up, stretching that ruler. See? Look at my counting. Seven and a half. Got it. <laughs> I'm a fool now. I I have egg on my face now. Yeah, you do. Here we go. One hit, spending the target lock. Hit, hit, crit going into Anakin. Oh, man. He's got only two, two locks. Dice. No. He's oh, dead. Two concussion shots. He's gone. Poof. Weapon, so Anakin's dead. He's gone. He took two missiles and died. Wrecked. I mean, no, no, re no region and bad dice uh, makes you a sad boy. Yeah. All right. Looks like Obi Wan had a shot here. Wait, what was the? Now yeah, you, you know yeah, what? I, know and I do want to yeah. note here. 
Josh and Matt are still having fun while playing. Yeah, yeah. I know you guys can't see it, but they're they're still smiling, having a good time. Uh, Josh isn't feeling salty. This is the best kind of X-Wing. And, you know, I will say this. I played seven rounds yesterday. Yeah. I enjoyed every single game I played. That's awesome. Like, every single game I played was amazing. Um, I haven't had this much fun. And I had more fun in this event than any of my hyperspace trials. Hyperspace trials just didn't feel fun to me. I don't know why. It just it, Everyone just felt stressed. Like, this was super fun. Do you think it's, it's the invite hunting? In the hyperspace I think it trials? might have been the invite hunting. I don't think anyone here is hunting an invite. They're just hunting some fun loot. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that might have been it. I really do. This didn't have that same sort of, I got to get that invite, you know? So, what would... I, I, I want to I Gator Storms it up again. What was the expected damage on that? Because, I mean, I think it was, he was expected to probably get one anyway, right? Because he check. had focus evade. I mean, okay. Excuse me, target lock focus? Yeah, so he had three attack dice, and he had f one force, right, and a lock. He had force and lock. And you're firing on a two die ship, two defense dice with just the focus. With a focus. Three force. Let's take a look at this. It is 1.4 expected damage. Okay. So. A little over the mean there. Yep. All right. But, not, but not that much. Nope. Not that much. I mean, you still have a... Um, I mean... 35% for two damage. Only 9% for three. So that was a little unlikely that he takes yeah. three there. Actually, pretty unlikely he takes three there. And the Yellow Inquisitor heading to the top of the board. Man, if... Uh, to Obi Wan. Matt, if, it, if Matt ends this game without taking any damage on these Inquisitors, it's crazy. They're hard to hit. Yeah. And now that we're at 18 minutes, too, time is just – I, I, Very much I hate against. calling games, right? But the time is so against Josh right now. And you know what? Matt is more than happy to – to not take shots mm -hmm. as long as not you know not fire at Josh as long as Josh is not firing at him. Exactly. And he's okay to lose the shuttle here too, just make it a nuisance. Yeah. I got the block. Right there. here, just got that block. No issue. All right, hard Ob turning Obi Wan into the. Uh, They're into all the evaded. Taps. Their focus evaded. Obstruction, like. Whew. Are we seeing the rise of the Inquisitors? Rise of the Inquisitors, man. I don't know. This now, is certainly a. This is certainly a. In my opinion, a really great squad. Not just because it's on the top four, but the things it brings to the table, the things it can do. Uh, it's a you know barrel roll boost here with Obi. Get, get that, that bullseye, bullseye on. This is what he needs to do. See if he can pop some damage into the Inquisitor. Inquisitor might use his ability to reduce. No, that, that ability no, is not good. No. Never mind. He has the evade and needs the focus. Excuse me, not the focus, the force. Obi-Wan needs a big shot here. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Oopsie. Just one force to spend. On Obi-Wan? Yeah. I only have one force to give. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to leave it at one, and he blanks out but has the invade token. Regen in the force, 16 minutes left in the round. I think this game 
Tyler didn't make cut on a fluky heroic roll, by the way, chat. Like you can <laughs> it was that was really unlikely. Like watch that game back. Yep. Uh, by the way, that actually reminds me. Um, all the games, all the streaming content, everything that makes it through. Let me put it that way, because yeah. it does. We've had had a couple of drops. We are using mobile internet. Uh, is uploaded to YouTube. YouTube automatically, so you can go ahead and check it out there. And Twitch Prime subscribers can rewatch on Twitch for the next 14 days as well. 14 days on repeat. Don't leave your TV. That's right. Got that Obi Wan sense. Free sense. Here's the other fun thing. Yeah. When the Inquisitor's getting shot at range one, if he doesn't die, he gets to sense that dial next turn. Yeah. So it's like, like do ooh. I really want to? Do I really want him to know where I'm going next round? It, it, it puts really uh, the onus on the opponents to uh, figure that out. Marking green out the way, moving yellow first. Doing a little do -si do around this sure. rock right here. Come on, promenade. <laughs> uh, somebody had asked me why, why is it like why do I have it available on YouTube and Twitch? Like, what's the point of having it both? So that double revenue income stream thing. I mean, kind of. I don't know. I don't know. So, so Twitch, um, making it available on Twitch for the subscribers, you could they can watch it without ads. Right. On YouTube, you there's ads on yeah. it. So Totes. That's the difference. Totes. I'm gonna draw on one of these. Yeah, I'll give you another one. Not that one. Oh, that one's on the one. giving away pile. Oh, okay. Give me another one. I'm gonna draw on one of these and you can give away one of them. <laughs> it's get a Sharpie though. It's not gonna write yeah, on it. Yeah, I know. I, need I don't I don't have one. The no. FFG probably has one. I'll get one last this will be fine. I'll get a Sharpie later. <laughs> I'm going to draw on one of these Anakins. You'll give away a top hat Anakin. That's right. Top hat Anakin coming. All right. Got a free evade because of full throttle there on Rick. And turning Obi Wan into the shuttle yeah, to try to try to get some more points out of this game. Thirteen minutes. The locks are all on Obi Wan. All right, got the focus there. The bullseye is on. Range three. So three dice. Yep, he went slower, so he's going to get a bonus. Oh, that's hit, a hit, good roll crit. by Rick. There it is. Only the force mod. Spends the force, takes a shield. First blood on an Inquisitor. It's on green. Obi-Wan has... Spend for two Spend on Jendon. Spend for two. Jendon only ha has... Jendon has three hull. Has three, so he's still not going to go. Down to one hull. Oh. Oh, the shuttle at one hull. Ultimate disrespect. Scythem, thank you so much for starting to watch Twitch and, and providing me with your Twitch Prime. You're amazing. Thank you so much. So I'm just going to toss back here at Rick. And reaching. Going to have a range three shot on Obi-Wan if he wants it. Spent his force. Trying to decide if the wants to use a concussion. He is going to use a concussion missile. Why not? He's got the charges. Yep. If it's not a good roll, it doesn't spend the lock. Oh! Man, that seems good. That seems good, eh? And Obi-Wan. So Obi-Wan's going to have to flip that. Yep. 
It's going to take one crit, and that other one gets flipped. So exposing the card in damage sensor array is the crit. And loose stabilizer. Oh, loose stabilizer. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> that means he's got to go over that rock. Oh. And if he doesn't, he dies. <laughs> brutal. Loose stabilizer. That's brutal, the one that's relevant brutal, there. Brutal. The other one was a damage sensor array. Wow. Ouch. You know, so one thing I want to talk about this list, um, the fact that it, we talked about Josh, Josh's list not being a regen list right. hurts Josh. But Josh's list hunts lists like Carson's, who we're, who we're going to see here in the final. Got a little train action happening here. <laughs> Riding the Inquisitor train. Choo choo. You're distracting me with your trains. I'm I was, sorry. I, I had a, I I had like a line trains. of thinking. I like trains, man. What do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want from me? Uh, what was I saying? Dang it. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, man. Burr. I'm sorry. I'm a bad co-host. No, you're the... You're <laughs> I was, I, we I'm a bad co-host, a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs> I distracted you with trains. Is that, is that how I distract you? Do, do, we have, do we have trains? train emojis in the chat? I could get... I'm sure there, <laughs> have to, there might be some in the standard Twitch. <laughs> All right, hard turn here from the Yellow Inquisitor. Green, three bank. Oh, what I was saying is... Um, so people were earlier in the chat were like, oh, man, why would Josh not bring regen? So with the bid, Josh's list hunts lists like Carson's. Sure does. So, yeah, Carson has regen, but if Josh can continuously arc dodge him, right. he, Josh wins that game. Exactly. So uh, it's a triangle, a little bit of a triangle there. I like this Rock, paper, I like scissors. ship marker. Four straight there from Rick. Yeah, but again, he's got to just get out of the way to survive, but he's not doing any damage. Really tough. Really tough here. Josh was behind. You know, Josh immediately went behind by taking three damage on, on Anakin. Yeah, if he man. only takes one from that first concussion, I think this is a different game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think this is a different game. Because Anakin never had an opportunity to no. be aggressive. No. Which you need the, at yeah. least a couple turns to get in there, do your damage. Yeah. Now be we're, the chosen we're one. Now we're Matt. Some we're a list like Matt's. Um, All right, no damage on the rock. The boy who lived, they say. They still like on the rock. So, um, what was I saying? Where Matt's list has issues, it was something like a Sinker Swarm. Yeah. Or something that's got a lot of health Well, actually, overall. Matt beat Andrew Knuckles with a Sinker Swarm. But I was talking to Andrew about it, and he, he goes, today just wasn't my day. Yeah. Also, there may have been some dice things. <laughs> Jeez, But yeah. in, in, a, in an Andrew Knuckles excited, slightly exacerbated yeah. way, uh, translator. And you know, but in a all things equal, something like a rebel beef or something with some damage sharing or yeah. any num any kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, they fixed it. Yeah, because he, the, yeah, you have to fully execute the maneuver in yeah, order to bumped. do the fine tune. We controls. know, chat. Jeez, that man, delay, they, man. They that. really, they really get up in arms about this, don't yeah. they? Ah. Instant. Internet rage. <laughs> hey. Six minutes left in this game. Yep. Uh, I think 
Nat's victory is all but assured at this point. Locked in. Not enough time to do the necessary damage. And Spence, yep. no, no damage. damage. These things, man. It's been just enough every time. Yeah. That evade token mattering or the force. Jenden might live this lives through this whole fight too. Green's gonna go ahead and take his shot on Obi Wan. We're gonna if Matt wins, we're gonna get another Inquisitor's hunting Jedi final. I yeah. think that's just super theme, really cool, super Love dank. It. I almost wish it wasn't Anakin in Carson Squad. It was like Plo or something yeah. else. Yeah. Takes two. Dead Obi Wan, I think. Gone. Gone. And so Rick the survives. Robes have fallen. But you know the Jedi are dead. So I really the think this is a success <laughs> for them. <laughs> for the Inquisitors. The target priority was never Rick Ali. He can't use the Force. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just a pilot off Naboo. Right. It looks like he has, um, what's that crit that gives you ions? Oh, um, disabled power regulator. There it is. I think Obi-Wan's dead, right? Am I crazy? Uh yeah. Yes. There we go. They're waiting for I the initiative. I know they have to go through turn, all the yeah. initiative, yeah. The overkill. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, the simultaneous fire rule now states that you should not take a ship off the board until all ships at the certain initiative win. Uh, ship reached zero hole, shoot. They all sh they all need to shoot. <laughs> the shuttle did get ioned by that concussion missile, though. Got him. <laughs> well, like one ion, but, yeah. Oh, from flipping it up. Yeah, because concussion isn't just... Enemy, enemy ships. ships. It's, it's everyone's ship. That's why it's six points and no one usually sees it because it's right. useless. Yeah. But, like, if these Inquisitors aren't taking damage cards, the thing about them is they already have a face-down damage card. They're probably going to be dead in a second anyway. Absolutely. And he gets to choose if he's going to fire yeah, them. So if there's one there, he's like, eh, maybe I won't. <laughs> it's a shuttle. Jenden, yeah. Jenden's fine. He's not an Inquisitor. Yeah. It was worth it to kill those Jedi scum. That's right. Oh, man. For the points, for the most of the time, concussion's pretty useless. However, in this particular this squad, is, yeah, this it works is a combination really well. Where it works, yeah. And you know, D had mentioned on the Fly Better podcast recently about you know having a munition option such as plasma torpedoes on a two die ship. You know, it's use it's useful all the time. Right. It's useful every single shot always because it's it doesn't have access to a third die. Right, you're you're paying points. You're paying points for an extra a die. A die a few times, a limited number of times. I mean, six points for a third die is pretty solid. That's good. Disregard you, all the other effects. Well, look right? at something like uh, Dengar. Right. right. The the punishing one title. And it's got those three charges. All right, hard three here. Just pursuing Mike Clip himself. Does. Two minutes left in this round. Matt Carey going to the finals. They're just playing it out just to, you know, it's like the end ne of a – Never surrender. It's like the end of a football game when a team's beating the Dolphins by 15 touchdowns <laughs> and you just got to play it out. That's right. And everyone's just like, yeah, I'm just going through the motions a yep. little bit. Sir, I'm going to get a hot dog. Wait for the next <laughs> game. I don't know what accent that was. I think that was some weird I don't know. country bumpkin Who? watching football. Well, are you saying all Dolphin fans are just country bumpkins? <laughs> no, I'm what saying that happening? that country bumpkin was watching football I with see. the Dolphins involved. I see. Three Talon. That's a good move to go to do over a rock because you're not getting actions anyway. Yep. We'll see if he takes damage. Oh, he takes oh a crit. Oh, my no, goodness. No, the crit on Rick. Punished. Wounded pilot. Wounded pilot on the way out. Oh, my That's, gosh. I believe after you... Perform an, an action, action, roll a die, and a hit or stress. crit. Take a stress. Wow. Wow. And evade is an evade action, too, I think. Yes. For full throttle. It is. Going after Grand Inquisitor. Trying to avenge his Jedi friends. Avenge. Honorably. <laughs> That's right. I love the Jedi. They were my They're friends. They were my friends. 
Hey! Oh no, he has to re-roll that because he can only... He oh, he had to re... So sad. Too many dice. So sad, he rolled too many. Yeah, it was range one, but they both went three there. I think this is the most number of rounds we've had in any game here at Gen Con. There's this is a weekend. lot of rounds. This is this makes me happy. This game is about to go to full completion too. And like it felt it, it felt good, it felt, right? Felt it never, good. Uh, yeah. never lagged. This is that pace of play that I'm talking about. This is what this is what this is a Ryan Farmer approved game. <laughs> Put a stamp Put on it. Put a stamp on it. Ryan Farmer approved. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Last round. Jenden, two ions. <laughs> That's Matt should just try to. <laughs> Matt should do the disrespect Jenden off the board. That's He's right. in the finals already. <laughs> I give uh, you these I'm points. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, he won't have enough time to do it. No, I think they're on the. They're this is the dials. last round, but he'll get he'll get the ion next turn. I no, guess I'm just saying fly, fly off the board. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a two bank off the board with Jenden. <laughs> chase, Job's done. Chase me now. I wouldn't do that. That's disrespectful. Yeah. That's poor sports. Uh, red card. You, you have it right here. <laughs> this is just an ultra pro size. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Don't tell him that's my red card. And this is going to oh, be gonna, the last round. He's going to flip himself onto the rock. He's going to try and kill him. No. Oh. No. <laughs> <I tried. laughs> that, they're having fun. Yeah, they're having a good time. That's funny. <laughs> now... We're going to probably put a, have a small break in between here. I don't know. I think they're going to want to play right away, but there might be like a, let me go get some water. That's right. Uh, Jacob Slayer Lore. No, alt art is not good enough. As a description, you got to know which alt art you got. Uh, because I give out a lot of alt arts. I mean, I guess if you put an alt art in there, I'll send you something random. That's like I the I that's fair. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, that's usually what I do. I'm like, ah, this one. You didn't support. You shouldn't support that because if people don't like the alt art they got, they won. They might just put alt art, and you might send them something better. Don't do that. Get, put the right thing in there. Put the right thing in there. Yeah, don't, it's, don't it's the, the honor system. system. It's an honor, honor system. It's, it's the honor system. Honor system. Or they could be a Twitch Prime subscriber and watch back on the stream for 14 days to see what they won. That's right. You can fast forward through that. Yeah, it's okay. Exact alt art name. Or you know now you know what? Well, I'll just change the policy. If it says alt art, you get nothing. You get That's nothing. Just, That's right. Nothing. See, nothing. That's you get right. Nothing. <laughs> oh God, Rick's gonna die, isn't he? Yeah, it just really would have just. Oh, he was out. Of, I think he's out of concussions. Making life easy. So one, one, one. So that's going to be game, I think. Yep. And uh, the scene fades out as Rick sees three Inquisitors closing in on him, and we hear shots over black, and we come up to empty space where this exact squad is going to be hunting more Jedi. <laughs> more Jedi. Man, great play by both gentlemen here. Uh, congratulations, Matt Carey, going to the final with three Inquisitors, and he throws out the Arch Alliance, Alliance banner. There oh, Marshall Heights on top. Wrecked. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My dice. All right. We'll go ahead and uh, and transition here. You sticking around for the final, Ryan? No, I'm going to pass it back. All right, I'm cool. pass it back. So let's go ahead and do our giveaway section. The giveaways are brought to you by... Curled paw. No, District Foundry. No, Foundry. District Foundry. Oh, that's what I said. That's what I that's said. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't break the rules. This is for you. No, that's for you. That shows you how much I love you. Dude, you know oh, I saw him. You ruined it. He ruined it. He just ruined it. I ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and do giveaways. Right. Um, we have some cards. Oh, you know, we were going to give away some of these. Let's show them off. So these are the official Ooh. alt arts. Um, where is this? 
All righty. So let's go ahead and... Uh, That looked really cool. I want to talk to him about that. Let's see. Which one, which one should we do, Ryan? Okay. Obviously, resistance. Resistance. Cause, obviously, because obviously. Cause Ryan. 18th uh, overall. Didn't make cut. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Not bitter. Mm, should have flown better, I guess. That's right. All right. What do we got here? We got a green squadron expert alt art. Zooming. It is zooming. It's a zoomer. That's right. And in order to participate in the giveaways, all you got to do is type in the chat. Super easy. Anybody is eligible to win. But if you are a subscriber to us on Twitch, you have a higher percentage chance. And, of course, what we're going to be doing here is uh, we're going to save a couple of these, do some uh, patron-exclusive giveaways, too. We'll do uh, two now, two for Twitch at the end, and then the rest will do uh, patron giveaways as well as we got ships. We got a ship giveaway for Twitch. We got all kinds of stuff coming. Are you ready to read the winner? Yes. Three, two, one. That winner is. Where is it? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Wrong button. Go. Tricor. T R Y K O R E gets this. Greed Squadron Expert Alt Art. Look at it. Zoom. So fast. So fast. All right. That goes there. Exclamation point win, Tricor. Tricor, exclamation point win. You want the card. It's been following since 2017. That love there. Respect. All righty. Respect. We'll save the rest there for later. Um, let's go ahead and do a couple uh, more Anakins. We'll do three more Anakins here. Three more of these Anakins. Here we go. Anakin number one. Anakin number one goes to Tar Horan. T-A-R-H-O-R-A-A-N. Anakin number two goes to... Wind Raven. Caw, 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 caw. <laughs> and last but not least goes to Coach Fat Jesus. Uh, or Jesus. We don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, after. Wait, Dion. Oh, he said wait. Ryan Farmer said we hold got, the horses. Oh, yo, we got some. We got oh, some, uh, yeah. some, some special uh, Fly Better sponsor tokens to give out. Fly better. All right, so I'm giving away a mini token set. A mini token set. Yes. A fly better token set. So, Dion, set. I'm going to tell you what's in this. We have the fly better stress tokens. Okay. Uh, one fly better stress token. Okay. We got a fly better evade token. It's got the covering on it, but yep. old fly better evade token. Fly better focus token. One fly better shield token. A Fly Better Legend S Foil token. And a Space Bat Charge token. You gotta peel it. A Space Bat Charge token. It's what it is. And finally Space Bat Calculate. That's a huge set. Space Bat Force. All that's going to one person. One person? One person. On Twitch? On Twitch. Right now? Right now. That's what they're going to get. One wow. of each one of those things. So. Three. Two. One. One. Bam. STX999. You're getting the Fly Better token set. Congratulations. And goes to a longtime follower, too. Somebody's been yes. following Yes. Exclamation point win. STX999. You get those Fly Better tokens all right make sure you keep watching remember we're going to be giving away because we hit the goal here let's go ahead and go there we're going to be giving away that and uh, sorry there it is that naboo starfighter right there we'll be giving away at the end uh at the, for the final for somebody on twitch this bomber up here a new patron giveaways the patron is the largest group of supporters that we have here at gold squadron sure podcast is. thank you to everybody who does that you know how large that is the, the large dz go Real big, 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 big. So um, that's going to be a new uh, a new patron giveaway that we're doing. Then, well, what what else am I missing? I don't we know. We have the district foundry giveaway uh, tray that we're doing, and I have Ooh. another hyperspace ring to give away as well. Another hyperspace ring. I got a two two hyperspace two ring hyperspace budget. Hyperspace ring oh, wait budget. There was oh, one wait. more thing. There's always one more thing. 
So I split these up a little bit. Originally, this was in a different way. So we have a hyperspace trial. Uh, hold on. I don't, don't want to spoil the surprise. Okay. So we have a hyperspace trial um, yes. range ruler range set, ruler set. Including a lightsaber hilt made oh, by District Boundary. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's... That's a, that's a blue lightsaber right there, man. It really is, Dio, and it's times like these that I have this app. That's right. All right, everybody. So thanks for having fun with us first. Thank you. Thank we love you. it. Uh, we're going to say bye to Ryan Goodbye, for, for today. Goodbye, everyone. I am um, out. Thank you so much, chat, for being my friends. Um, Fly Better podcast every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. He's allowed. Um, thanks. He's family. It happens. So I love you, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be back with the final in a few minutes. I don't know what was happening. What was happening? Oh, he's dying. Oh, God. He's gone. Oh, God. <laughs> I saved him. Thank you. Maybe.
We're going to do a quick reconnect, disconnect.